everyone, welcome to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today, in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 11. So, let's get started. So, today, I'll be going through question 11. So, let's take a look at it. So, this is question 11 and it is testing us on area and perimeter. Okay? So there are actually two parts to this question, part A and part B. So let's read the question and solve for part A first. The figure is made up of two rectangles. Okay, so these are the two rectangles. Okay. A, B, H, F. So this is A, B, H, F. And F, G, D, E. F, G, D, E. Okay. And two right angle isosceles. Okay, okay, this is really important. So there are two right angled isosceles triangles and two rectangles, okay? So these are the two, so two right angle isosceles triangles, meaning that the sides are actually the same, right? So uh, GC is equal to GD and also BH is equal to CH, right? So these, this is what it means, okay? And also we have two rectangles, so basically we know that A, AF is actually XCM as well and HF is actually 12, 12 CM and also and also DE is 8 CM meaning that GF is also 8 CM and also HG, HG is actually 4 CM because 12 minus 8 gives us 4, right? Okay, so, and, and the question, let's read the question continuing. So, uh, two right angle isosceles triangles, B, C, H, and D, C, G, okay? So, B, A equals 12 CM, D, E equals 8 CM, B, H equals X CM. A, F, E, and C, H, G, F are straight lines. So, this is a straight line okay and this over here is a straight line okay okay so let's move on so for part a of the question they are asking us to find the length of ae so where is ae so basically we are supposed to find this to this over here ae okay find the length of ae in terms of x Give your answer in the simplest form. So AE is basically a combination. So AE actually equals to AF. AE is equal to AF plus FE. Okay. And AF equals to BH. Okay. And also GD equals to F E. So this is really important, okay? So we have this information over here and now we can do this question, okay? Okay, so first off, what we are going to do is to actually uh, find out this, okay? So HG, right? HG, we already know it's 4CM because we are taking 12, uh, 12CM minus 8CM which will give us 4CM. And next, the length of GD is equal to the length of GC. So what I've already told you over here, right? Because it's an isosceles triangle. So the length of GD is equal to GC. So we already know that GD is equal to FE. So this is actually a part of solving our question. So we need to find the length of GC now. So GC, so since we need that, uh, know that BH is equal to CH, CH is actually also XCM. So we know that GC, so we know that GC is equal to X plus 4CM and thus GD is equal to X plus 4CM, which means that FE is actually X plus 4CM as well. So here it is. So GC is equal to X plus 4CM, okay? And thus AE is equal to X, XCM plus X plus 4CM which will actually give us 2x plus 4cm, okay? So this is the answer for part A and I hope you understood. Now let's read part B. Find the total area of the figure when x is equal to 14, okay? 
they are asking us to find the total area of the figure when x is equal to 40. So let's do something really. Uh, let me just erase everything over here, okay? So that it's easier for us to see what we are working with, right? So they are asking us to find the area of the figure when x is equal to. So let's just write x equals to 14, okay? So what we are going to do to find this is actually 12 times x, right? And in order to find this is 8 times x plus 4, right? So 8 times x plus 4. So this is one part. This is another part. And then in order to find this triangle's area, we're going to take half times x times x. So half times x times x. And to find the other triangle, we are going to take half times uh, we are going to take half times x plus 4 times x plus 4, right? So what we need to do now is to actually just substitute everything in. So first, length of the GD is equal to length of GC, right? So we all know this already. So it's actually 18 cm. So this is actually 18 cm. You know, x plus 2 is actually, eh, sorry, I mean x plus 4 is actually 18 cm because uh, 14 plus 4. So now we can simplify all of these equ equations over here. Okay, so let me just erase x plus 4 and put 18 instead. And this x will actually become 14, right? And these two x will actually become 14 as well, right? So 14 times 14. And these x plus 4s will actually become 18, okay? So that's really simple. So 18 times 18. Okay, so you until this part, right, everybody got it covered. But when you're calculating, right, you should be extra, extra, extra careful. Because at this point of time, right, many students actually make really, really, really many careless mistakes. And they actually lose easy marks because of this. So let's do this together. So first, we're going to take 12 times 14 plus 18 times 8 plus half times 18 times 18 plus half times 14 plus 14 uh, sorry i mean 14 times 14 which actually give us 168 plus 144 plus 162 plus 98 so this is really easy you just need to punch your calculator in this values do it do it exactly as such and you'll get this so which basically results in the answer of 572 cm square okay so, one very important thing is to always be very careful. So, don't make careless mistakes. So, let me just write. Don't be careless. Because I myself, during my primary school days, have made a lot of careless mistakes in these types of questions. Okay? So, please do be extra extra careful when you're doing these questions and always remember to check your paper after you're done with it and with that i've come to the end of this video and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye